Welcome to Accrington. Accrington is a town in Lancashire in the borough of Hindburn. It lies between the towns of Blackburn and Burnley and is about 20 miles north of Manchester. The name Accrington is thought to be Anglo-Saxon in origin. Acre or Akran meaning oak or acorn and ring town means that the name was derived from a town surrounded by oak trees. The River Hindburn runs through the town centre and gives its name to the borough. Beginning as Woodnut Water on the slopes of Goodshaw Hill, it passes through Stonefold, Rising Bridge and Baxenden, where it is augmented by streams from 13 Stone Hill and continues to the Woodnut area of Accrington. It goes through the town centre but can't be seen mostly because it is culverted and then the river goes on towards Clayton Moors and Great Harwood, where it eventually joins the River Calder. Accrington is known for its Norai bricks, which are known to be some of the densest and strongest bricks in the world. They were even used in the construction of the Empire State Building foundations. And the local legend has it that the name Norai comes from the word iron being spelt backwards in the mould by accident. Robert de Lacy gave the manor of Accrington to the monks of Kirkstall in the 12th century. The monks built a grange there, removing the inhabitants to make room for it. The locals got their revenge by setting fire to the new building, destroying its contents and in the process killing three lay brothers who occupied it. The area of the town is known as Black Abbey and is a possible reference to the murders. In the year 1845, under the reign of Queen Victoria, Wombwell's Circus came to Accrington and it would have been a spectacular event in most people's lives as most people wasn't used to leaving the town. The circus performers marched into the town trying to create a buzz of excitement in a hope to increase ticket sales. But the most amazing thing they had was Chimney the Elephant. But unfortunately, this is a sad story. Chimney the Elephant collapsed and died on its way into the town. And the town commemorated this by naming one of the streets Elephant Street. Up to about the year 1830, visitors to Accrington considered it just to be a large village, but the Industrial Revolution resulted in large changes and Accrington's location on the confluence of a number of streams made it attractive to industry. In the mid-1800s, a number of mills were built in the town and the rich landowners built mansions on the outskirts, while the workers were cramped up in terraced houses and unsanitary conditions in the town centre. Cotton mills and dye works provided work for the inhabitants, but often in very difficult conditions. There was regular conflict with employers over wages and working conditions. On the 24th of April 1826, over 1,000 men and women, many of them armed, gathered at Winnie Hill in Clayton Moors to listen to a speaker where from they marched to Sykes Mill at Higher Grange Lane near the site of a modern police station and to the magistrate's courts. They smashed up over 60 looms. The riots spread from Accrington through Ozzle Twistle and Blackburn and Darwin, Berry and Chorley. These were known as the Luddite Riots. After days of rioting, 1139 looms had been destroyed. Four rioters and two bystanders were shot dead by the authorities in Rosendale. 41 rioters were sentenced to death, albeit those sentences were later commuted. The workers of Accrington also suffered in the Lancashire Cotton Famine. The boom years of 1859 and 1860 had produced far too much woven cotton that could be sold and it had been stored in warehouses. This coincided with a shortage of raw material due to the American Civil War and it made a perfect storm of increased costs and oversupply 
and mills cut back their production and the workers suffered with loss of wages. Accrington has many grand buildings though that were built during the boom years of the Victorian times. The examples such as the Town Hall or the Victorian Market Hall are beautiful examples of sandstone architecture and what could be done with the money that had swelled up during the Industrial Revolution. The Market Hall in Accrington is one of the finest surviving examples of a Victorian Market Hall and it has a lovely balcony where you can look down on the activities down below. But like many northern towns, Accrington struggles now with its shopping and its town centre is much quieter than in previous boom years. I think much of this is due to people turning to online and home deliveries. In the year 1867, Accrington had one of its biggest tragedies in its history. In 1866, a man named James Duckworth had a building built under the arches of the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway Viaduct. The downstairs of this building was used for manufacturing specialist cords, which were used in the looms in the textile industry. And the upstairs of the premises, he rented out to St Oswald's Roman Catholic School. On the 1st of March 1867, Miss Letitia Bursko, the schoolmistress for St Oswald's Roman Catholic School, was in the midst of teaching her class of young children. Around 100 children was on the premises that was situated on the second floor of Duckworth's business. She had rented the space just three months earlier after moving from her old property on Edgar Street, which was just a few yards away. Just after 11 o'clock in the morning, smoke was seen coming from underneath the wooden flooring, as well as from a narrow staircase that led onto the upper floor, where the class was taking place. Back in Victorian England, it wasn't strange for a class to contain such a large number of children, and it's thought that around 100 children were on the premises. Miss Bursko called for the children to follow her out of the building. She took hold of several of them, with three reported to have clung onto her hair as she made her way down the staircase and out to safety. She would go back in to make her way inside the building on four more occasions, each time bringing out with her more children. However, each time she went back into the building, the flames engulfed her with fire, and on her fifth attempt she was beaten back as she couldn't get in due to the intense heat. A young man named Richard Burton, who worked for the Lancashire Constabulary, went up the stairs into the fire and had the quick thinking to smash the windows and started tossing the children out to be caught by passers-by outside and saved many of the children's lives. But as the intensity of the fire grew, he had no choice to jump out of the window himself and save his own life. Nine children died that day. Ellen Ann Varley, aged five, Mary Hannah Fisher, aged three, Elizabeth Jane Wade, aged six, Catherine Lanty, aged six, Robert Loud, aged four, Elizabeth Proctor, aged six, Thomas Jackson, aged three and a half, and Mary Ann Bentley, aged three years old, and also Mary Alice Duckworth, the daughter of the building owner. Accrington is also known for the Accrington Pals, who were a World War I battalion, comprised largely of volunteers from the Accrington and surrounding areas in Lancashire. Formed in 1914, the unit, officially known as the 11th Battalion East Lancashire Regiment, gained renown for its camaraderie and collective commitment to serve during the war. Trained together and sent to the front lines, their involvement in the Battle of the Somme in July 1916 was catastrophic. On the first day alone, many of the Pals fell, suffering heavy casualties. The loss devastated the close-knit community of Accrington, as it deeply impacted the families of the entire region. Despite their sacrifice and tragic losses, the Accrington Pals' legacy endures, 
commemorating their bravery and sacrifice of those who served. Apparently, plans are in place to try to regenerate Accrington Centre, with plans for the Victorian Market Hall to be turned into a food court. My suggestion to the local council is that the homelessness problem, which is evident in Accrington Town Centre, needs to be addressed, as does the alcohol and drug misuse. The homeless people need help to find secure accommodation and when you come to the town centre, people need to feel like it is a safe space and somewhere that you want to come and visit. Thanks for joining us on our tour around Accrington today. If you enjoyed the video, why not check out some of the other ones on our channel. Take care guys, bye bye.